Hey guys, I'm Julianne. Welcome to my show, Jewel's Dines and Dishes. Today, I'm bringing you to one of my favorite restaurants that brings you a true Southern California dining experience. Good Stuff, located right here on the Hermosa Beach Strand, brings you flavorful dishes with a warm beach energy that feels like you're on vacation. Good Stuff has four locations. This one in Hermosa Beach is a favorite among volleyball players, surfers, and beachgoers, and has been featured in many well-known TV shows. Come on in, let's see what they're cooking inside. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here tonight with Chris Bennett, the owner and founder of Good Stuff. So, Chris, tell me, how did you get started with all of these restaurants? When I was 15, I had already decided and went down that path and ended up going to college and graduating from hospitality restaurant school and uh, got into the business right away and opened my restaurant about seven months later. I didn't have any idea what kind of restaurant I'd own and operate, but got lucky enough to end up in Manhattan Beach and uh, stayed down here in the South Bay and it's been a good life. Well, thanks for sharing your history about the restaurant. Let's go check out some of these dishes. Let's do it. Great. So this is uh, the Chris's breakfast salad. It's a signature salad that I came up with about 20 years ago. It's going to add a couple eggs. I'm going to scramble that together. I was trying to eat healthier and a little less carbs, so I came up with this salad that has eggs and ground turkey on top of it. I mean, normally when you think of salad, you think of lunch or dinner. I don't typically think of breakfast, so this is actually a really cool, you know, introduction for a breakfast dish that I'm not normally familiar with. So now, what's the next step from here? You've got the eggs, you have the meat. You got romaine, tortilla strips. We're putting a little bit of pico de gallo inside. Okay. Black beans, hot black beans. A little bit of Caesar dressing. Nice. We're gonna toss that with some brown rice. And then we're gonna place it in a bowl. And on top is gonna to go the hot eggs. Wow. And voila. Yum. This is breakfast salad. Now again, this is my favorite time. I get to try Chris's breakfast salad here at Good Stuff. Let's see how it is. What do you think? It's amazing. I'm gonna try it for the hundredth time. Wow. The flavor of the eggs and the turkey and the salad and the dressing all mixed mm. together. It's a really interesting combination that's really delicious. Wow. I feel like that's the real true essence of California, especially Southern California and the health conscious food is that a lot of people are looking for dishes that are not only flavorful, but they also are, you know, health conscious. So yeah. you guys really seem to provide that here at Good Stuff. It's, it's just, you know, I mean, they make, it's, it's just a good comfort food. Good breakfast and, Yeah, they, it, everything's really good breakfast. It's too bad they're not open for dinner too. Now we're going to do one of our specialties. It's a bear munde. It's a very white, uh, tender fish, mild, and it's grilled. It's served over the base of quinoa with sauteed spinach, mushrooms, capers, and fresh basil. So again, another very health conscious. Yeah, very dish. healthy. Wow, you can already smell the nice like, garlic. And... Garlics, mushrooms, a little basil out of our garden, a little spinach. We saute all that up. A little white wine, capers. All right. You can already the aroma is just amazing. You got that flip down, don't you? Yep. <laughs> and saute it up, get those juices going. All right. We serve it on a bed of red quinoa. And put the fish right on top. Wow. So here it goes again. My favorite part of the show where I actually get to try the dish. So here's a moment of truth, guys. I'm gonna get a little bit of the fish and a little bit of the quinoa. Mm. Yum. You can really taste those flavors and the garlic and the light fish. It's just really flavorful. Simple can be really good. Yeah. And you know, we try to do that here. We're, we don't overcomplicate things. We try to make foods that you could easily replicate at home. Sure. Um, I mean, we have some secret recipes, of course. But, <laughs> uh, but on, the, on the whole part, you know, we're putting food out and quickly, and we need to make sure that it's, um, it's fresh and healthy because that's what we're all about. So 
is there a dish that you might make at home or some sort of a trick? You know, everybody's got their little thing that they do when they're cooking. Is there something that you do that you could maybe share with our viewers? You know, I like to keep things real simple when I'm cooking at home. Just something on the barbecue, a little olive oil, salt and pepper is all you gotta do with your proteins and and then just a veggie and maybe a nice salad and keep it... Keep it simple. Keep it simple, yeah, and simple can be really good. This is our world famous zucchini parmesan. We make it fresh in our kitchen. This recipe has not changed in 38 years and it's one of the original items that were on, was on the original menu back in 1979. We still make it the same way and it is a another fan favorite here at this stuff. Wow. Thanks guys for watching. If you liked what you saw, please be sure to like, subscribe, or comment with any feedback at Jules Dines and Dishes. Thanks!